All right, guys, it is Monday, October 30th. We're almost one, done with October. <clears throat> we build our own, um, some of our own attachments, and we have a couple attachments that are taking up too much of our trailer. So it's like a man lift. So we built another one to fit on top of our bucket truck because the ones we have now, if we put them on top of the bucket truck, they would come in contact with the turret and wouldn't allow it to operate properly. So I end up having to order another attachment plate <coughs> off Amazon. They're actually like cheaper to buy than they are to make. So by the time you pay for labor and materials, um, they are a little bit loose, so we kind of have to tighten them up, but I've been buying these off Amazon for years now, and that way my fabricator can concentrate on making the attachment, he doesn't have to worry about the attachment plate, we just weld it back, weld it on there, and, and that's it, and it's done, so, and they ship within a day or two. Get off the table. So this is it. I've bought these before. Um, see, they can do it because they have all one piece and they have a way of bending it. We have to cut every piece and then weld it back together. Um, sometimes these holes need to be enlarged a little bit. And sometimes we have to put a couple pieces of metal in here um, just, to, to, just to stiffen it up. <coughs> So they're not perfect, but they work. Um, if you have an attachment that uh, needs to be super tight, you can basically just add on to this and stiffen it up if it's a little bit sloppy, if, if that matters to you. But these are an excellent way to just simply uh, save time. Also too, you can just buy these and weld them onto of course uh, bigger attachments so we had a I bought a couple bobcat uh, buckets and a bobcat grapple and you just simply weld this attachment plate inside the bigger attachment plate and as long as you can your machine can pick it up uh, the hydraulic lines the quick connects are usually the same so you just weld this on and boom you have a, a full-size bobcat attachment on a mini skid so they call these like Toro dingo attachment plates because uh, they were one of the first ones to come out with a mini skid and they're not real heavy they weigh probably about 30 or 40 pounds <clears throat> so they don't add a lot of weight to your attachment but all right that's all I have we're going to uh, I'm going to take this into the shop today <clears throat> and Tony will uh, weld it on to our new attachment um, that fits on the bucket truck um, so that way we don't have to carry the attachment on the trailer and take up room because we as you know we haul debris on our trailer and um, sometimes we have to take the attachment off load the trailer up and then put the attachment on top of the debris this way um, we'll always have it with us uh, as long as we have the bucket truck which we have 95 percent of the time and then if we uh, also too it's a little bit taller than our other one so I always wanted to make a little bit taller man uh, man lift. So now we have the best of both worlds. We have something smaller that fits on the bucket truck and is larger so we can reach uh, more things with the pole saw. So, all right guys, I'll leave a, a, a link in the description if you guys wanna purchase one of these or like, and they're not really, they're like maybe 60 bucks or something like that. Some of them are a hundred. I buy these cause they're like 65 or something like that. <clears throat> So, all right, we will weld this on the new uh, man lift, and I'll take some pictures and some videos, and hopefully I'll have a video uh, up within a few days. Have an awesome day. Crush the like button.